Do you have videos where the click-through rate is just pathetic? I'm talking 1%, 5%, maybe even less than that. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you exactly how you can increase the click-through rate on your YouTube videos. So if you are dying to increase the click-through rate on your thumbnail so people actually click and watch your videos, keep on watching. be successful on YouTube, you have to get people to click and watch your videos and then click and watch them again and again and again. And the way that you do that is by having great thumbnails. Now, a lot of rookie YouTubers don't know that your thumbnail is one of the most important aspects of your YouTube channel. There are some YouTubers that spend more time crafting and designing the thumbnail than they do their actual video. Now, why is that? It's because the thumbnail is that visual element that entices people to click and watch your video. Think of it as a big juicy apple that you were dangling in front of your audience saying, Hey, want a bite? <laughs> and that's because when people are on YouTube, they are being bombarded with all sorts of different videos. Are they gonna watch a speed run from their favorite video game? Are they gonna watch a cooking tutorial? Or are they gonna watch your video? You have so much competition and you're fighting through all of this visual noise and that's where really, really great thumbnails come in. Your thumbnail should get them to stop the scroll. Quit scrolling through all the different videos. They're looking at yours, they think, hmm, that's interesting. They click and then you want them to stick around. Now, the great thing about YouTube is it allows you to change your thumbnail multiple times, even after it's posted. And that's awesome because you're not just stuck with a crappy thumbnail for the rest of your life. YouTube allows you to change and modify it because it wants you to do well. It wants your video to be seen, but it's up to you to make that great thumbnail happen. But how do you know if your thumbnail is working? How do you know that one thumbnail is better than the other? Yes, you can just change the thumbnail and then manually just track the data in your YouTube studio, but there is a better way. Way. Let me introduce you to my absolute favorite tool of all time, TubeBuddy. And they have two really great features that make changing and swapping out your thumbnail a breeze. So I actually have a whole bunch of new thumbnails that I created for all of my videos. So let's hop over to my computer and I'll walk you through this entire process. Trust me, it is so, so easy. You're gonna be like, why did I not do this before? All right, here we are. I am so excited to show you this. I've been wanting to switch up these thumbnails for a while now, but I've been holding off so I could do it with you guys so I can show you just how amazing this is. It's going to blow your mind. So when you're in YouTube studio, if you have TubeBuddy, you will see right here in the top right corner, this TubeBuddy panel. Now, once you're here, you're gonna want to click Click Magnet. Now, Click Magnet actually is a feature of the Legend tier, which is the highest tier of TubeBuddy. But never fear, I got you covered. If you go to morganstradling.com slash TubeBuddy trial, you can get a free 30-day trial of TubeBuddy, specifically this Legend tier. Trust me, I want everyone, as soon as they're done watching this video, to go get TubeBuddy and to use this for your videos because you are just gonna be mind blown. Of course, when you're ready to purchase, because after you see how amazing this tool is, you are going to want to keep going. Use code MorgansBuddy for 20% off. So once you're here on Click Magnet, you're gonna click Get Started. It's going to crunch some numbers and do its magic. It's looking at all of the data for your thumbnails. So what Click Magnet does is it analyzes the data for your videos in your thumbnails, and it's gonna let you know, hey, what thumbnails are working and which ones you need to improve. So let's figure out which ones are working. If we go to Power Rankings, it's going to give us a ranking from our very best to the very worst. And actually this video right here, how to pick a winner on Instagram giveaway, this is one of my best videos and it's no wonder. You can see there's three metrics really that it's looking at. It's looking at your click-through rate, your watch time, and the number of clicks that it has gotten. So specifically, this is actually a pretty good thumbnail. I don't think this is the most amazing thumbnail in the world, but at 7.52%, it has a really, really great click-through rate. And you can see that it's very simple and it has all the elements that you would need. It says three winner pickers. It has a picture of me and I'm pointing at the Instagram symbol. Now specifically the words that I use here matter, specifically the word free, because a lot of Instagram giveaway winner pickers you have to pay for. And people typically are running a one-time giveaway. They don't want to pay for something. And so by me putting free, it really entices people to click because they want to find out, hey, how can I do this for free? And then this right-hand column right here, this is the strength. This is a very high video. People are clicking it and they're watching it. So you definitely want those two aspects. You don't want people to click and then realize it's clickbait and click off. You 
want them to actually watch the video. So you can see some of these other ones and these are no surprise to me. These are other videos on my channel that I've just done really, really well. They have really high views and the click through rates you can see 4.95%, 6.18%, 5.95%. These are generally pretty high for me and my channel. Now TubeBuddy has a color coding system that makes it really easy to visually see where things are at. There's dark green, light green, yellow, orange, and red. Obviously the more green you are, the better. Things that are more on the red side are bad. So let's keep scrolling. You can see that now as we're scrolling to these middle performing videos, you know, some of these are just kind of neutral click through rate, a 6.9% number of clicks aren't that great. You know, some of these are in the red. Let's scroll down to my very worst video. Okay. This video right here is how to film a YouTube video in 30 minutes. And I think this was actually a pretty good video. I'm showing you boom, boom. Here's all the things that you have to do. So when you sit down, you can record a video in 30 minutes flat. Now, everything here is in the red. <laughs> it has a very low click through rate. The watch time is poor. People aren't really watching the video. And then the number of clicks to get to that video aren't that great either. So for me, maybe this is something that I should change. And you know, it's funny because this was actually a video that I was experimenting with my thumbnail design and pfft, bad. That was a bad experiment. It did not work out very well. I tried to do this little sunburst thing behind me and I'm pointing at a camera with an arrow and nope, People don't like it. It's not good. So, okay. Now that we have this information, we know what's doing well, what's not doing well. What you could do is you could go to these low performing videos and then change the thumbnails. And I'm going to show you a really cool way on how to change the thumbnail. So you have data to know whether the change was good or not. But a lot of these videos, other than this one right here, actually are newer videos for me. So that might be a little bit skewed because they just haven't had the watch time that some of my other videos have had. So I want you to go back and then go to opportunities. And what this is going to do, it's going to say, Hey, based on all of the data, these are the videos that have an opportunity to do even better because they have high watch time, high view duration, lots of views, but the click through rate is okay. So if you fix the thumbnail, you're going to have a higher click through rate, which means just even more views because we know that once people get on the video, they actually watch the video. So this is actually really surprising for me that the number one video that it recommends is my, how to get monetized on YouTube. This video was a workhorse on my channel last year in 2020. I think the thumbnail was pretty good. It's at 4.95%. It's good ish, but this is saying, Hey, you should change this. You should try to improve it. So, so I'm actually going to take note of this so I can go and fix this thumbnail and then replace the thumbnail. Let's check out these other videos to see the areas of opportunity. This number two one is not a surprise. This video actually does really well. It has a lot of really great information about how to do YouTube SEO, but the thumbnail guys is just terrible. I washed out in this video because my camera settings were wrong. And instead of using a different photo, I just found a screenshot from the video. It's not a great thumbnail strategy. And then I just put learn YouTube SEO. It's like, what? It's not very appealing. You can see by a 2.09 this is a high opportunity. The other one was a very high, but this is high. So let's scroll down some of these other ones. Sub for sub sucks. Finally paid 2.62%. And yeah, you can see this thumbnail right here. There's nothing special about it. And that kind of actually was my problem with thumbnails is I would spend all this time making my YouTube video, optimizing the video. And then it'd be like 10 minutes before my video was supposed to go live. And I was like, <gasps> crap, I don't have a thumbnail. So a lot of times I would whip a thumbnail up together and have a template and I just didn't have a lot of time to think about it. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll upload it and then I'll change it later. No never changed it later. Life got in the way, kids got in the way, you know how it goes. So that's why some of these thumbnails are just really boring, plain Jane. So really quickly, I'm going to copy and paste all of these videos that we're going to be doing for our test. And then I'm going to show you this super cool TubeBuddy tool that will allow us to do this test. We are done. So you can see right here that I have 14 videos that I am going to be testing using the super cool TubeBuddy feature. But in order to do that, that means I need to make 14 new thumbnails that are significantly better than the thumbnails that I have. And you can see, my good intentions of, oh, I'm going to change the thumbnail later never happened because I'm super busy. I'm a mom of three kids. So I've actually started outsourcing my thumbnails to my editing team, Dava Marketing. They have a thumbnail package where you can do unlimited thumbnails. So this was perfect because they could not only help me with my existing videos, but then they could go back and help me with my other thumbnails, the ones that weren't so good and make those better. So and this is not sponsored by them, but I have just been so, so impressed with the thumbnail service that I'm like, I have to tell my subscribers about it. Even though there's a one day turnaround time for thumbnails, I find that they are just so fast. I'm able to get a ton of thumbnails done, which has been really, really awesome. Having them design the thumbnail has been a game 
changer because it would take me anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes to design a very simple crappy thumbnail. If I wanted to make it super, super good and intricate, I could, I just didn't have the time. And they are just so fast. They're so much better than I could ever be. So if you're interested in checking them out, go to morganstradling.com slash Dava thumbnails. And if you use code Morgan, you can get 15% off your first month. Seriously, if you are struggling with your thumbnails, check them out because they are amazing and they are totally gonna up your thumbnail game. So right here, they already have been redesigning some thumbnails for me. You can see they're doing this one right here about brand deals. Here's that film in 30 minutes video that I was talking about. So that one is already done. Basically, I have a queue of thumbnails that they are working on. So as soon as they're done with one, they'll go to the other. And you can see these two videos right here, I just attach my inspiration saying, hey, I really like the way that this video did this. And then they can go and recreate it and make it even better than I could have imagined from there. All right, so now let's do our test. TubeBuddy has a really cool feature called called A-B testing. If you're in Click Magnet and you're in the opportunities section, right here you can click this button that says create A-B test. But another way that you can get to this is on any single video, there's a little TubeBuddy button right here and you click that and then scroll over to A-B test under video SEO and you can get there that same way. So it's gonna bring you to this page. It's already gonna have the video that I'd like to A-B test. Seriously, this one that says the science of uploading, it was such a bad thumbnail guys. This was another one of those crap, my videos due in 10 minutes, let's get this out. The text is just super boring. I'm pointing to my watch. It just doesn't really make sense. So they made a super cool one for me. So I'm just going to go right here and I'm going to click thumbnail test. Now you can do AB tests for thumbnails, but also you can do AB tests for your title and your description and your tags. So that's super cool. I would not recommend doing those at the same time because for a true AB test, you need to change only one thing at a time, but don't think that these AB tests are just for thumbnails. So that's another thing that you can test is, hey, if I change my title, do I get a higher click-through rate? So I'm gonna click right here. I am doing a thumbnail test to see which has a better CTR. And then it gives you two options. Do you wanna run the test for a certain number of days or do you want to run the test until it's statistically significant? Personally, I would run the test until it's statistically significant. Basically what that means is it's going to run the test so many times that after a certain point, it knows which one is the clear winner from the data. So what an A-B test is, is it's going to test two different options. So so for thumbnail tests, it's going to show thumbnail A and thumbnail B, hence AB test. And TubeBuddy's gonna do this behind the scenes where it's going to be swapping out your thumbnail over a period of time. Then it's gonna look at the data to see which thumbnail has the higher click-through rate. And the great thing about the second option, the video could run for one day, two days, maybe a week, but whenever it has hit that statistically significant threshold, it's automatically gonna swap out the thumbnail that has the higher click-through rate. So there's nothing for you to do on your end. So here is my first one, again, it's it's okay, it's not great. Nope. It's no wonder the click-through rate was 2.72%. Oof, that's just bad. So I'm just gonna click and upload the file right here. Voila, you can already see it just by looking at these two together. I already know that the new thumbnail is so much better. It's brighter, it has arrows that are pointing to things. It's showing the best time to publish graph from your YouTube studio, which people may be familiar with, but they may not know how to use it. Already, I can tell you which one's going to be better, but let's let the data decide. So click start test and then yes, start the test. It's going to create the test for you and then it's just going to run. If for some reason you need to stop the test, you can obviously stop it manually, but from here on, it's just going to plug and chug, do its work from there. So now I need to go and run A-B test for all of those videos. So I need to have my designers design a whole bunch of new thumbnails and then I need to run the test. Now, if you are like me and you're excited to know the results of these tests, you're gonna have to subscribe because that is going to be next week's video. You're not gonna wanna miss it. And of course, so you can start doing this yourself on your channel, you need to sign up for TubeBuddy's legend plan. Get your free trial at morganstradling.com slash TubeBuddy trial. And with that, we wait. Take a drink while it's doing this. So that was 4.95 per, oh my gosh, I can't type. Now that spider is up on the ceiling. How'd I get over there? But I'm super busy and as you can see before, if I know.